Well, good morning, good morning. I'm headed out this morning and I'm excited. Last week, a thrift store manager reached out to me asking if I'd be interested in buying a bunch of hats. This is a manager I've been talking to quite a bit and have purchased a lot of bulk purchases from this store and it's done really well for me. So when she said she had 150 hats that she would throw in a bag for about 10 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So we're gonna head there now, pick this up. I'll bring you along and show you what's in this bag and hopefully we'll get some stunners in there. I'm hoping to get at least five to six really good ones that sell for 20 plus dollars. So I did kind of look through and I saw like the first five or 10 just to kind of see what kind of hats they were. Um, and then I just told her I would just go ahead and take them and sort them out at home. So I did take a look at the top of the bag. She allowed me to kind of peek through and see what kind of hats were in there. For 15 bucks and to get almost 100 hats, that's a pretty good deal. And I did see one hat in particular that I know will bring in 15. I'm actually really excited to see what's in there and hopefully we'll have a home run that's a 30, 40, $50 hat that will make this whole thing very worth it. One thing that the store manager here did say is that she gets a bag full of hats like this about every three to four weeks. And if I'm interested that I can just come by, pick them up, pay 15 bucks for the bag. I feel like this is something that could be really good business in the future. And I will say before I head home and open these up for you and show you kind of what I've got in this mystery bag of hats, this store has been really good to me. I've gotten a lot of bulk buys here, some brand new items. If you guys have been following my channel at all, you may have seen a video where I picked up three to 400 golf hats and those have done really well for me as they continue to sell. I still have probably a hundred of those left. I've picked up probably three to four bulk buys at this store and it's just continued to pay off. Let's head home, see what's in this bag. Let's go. All right, now's the time to do it. Let's get going. Time out. I want to first remind you that this video is sponsored by Vendu. I've been using Vendu now for several months to get all of my listings up onto multiple sites and it's greatly increased my sales. It would not have happened had I not had those listings up on other sites. If you want to take advantage of this software and get started with Vendu yourself, click the link below and get started with your free trial of Vendu. All right, action. Let me start off before we get into this bag, let you know that if you want one of these hats, send me a message and let me know and we can work out a deal and I'll get it to you. I'm not gonna show you every hat because some of these are gonna be throwaway hats, hats that I'll recycle or redonate to another thrift store, but I'll show you the ones that I think are cool that you may be interested in and uh, let you know what I think I can get for each one. So let's do it. All right, right off the bat, got this nice Adidas hat, like trucker hat. This one definitely worth selling. It's got some hair on it, that's okay. We'll get it cleaned up, get a lint roller on this, and I should be able to get probably 12 to $14 plus shipping on this nice Adidas hat. So this hat's a little dirty, but I think it may still be worth like washing and cleaning up, selling at some point. It's got the PGA Championships at Southern Hills, oh, 2007 on the side here. So a nice little strap back hat. Probably won't get a lot for this. Got the American flag on the front. For something like this, I'd, I'd guess probably 14 bucks plus shipping. Got a trend of golf hats going on. Got a nice little tailor-made fitted hat here in excellent condition. I actually just sold one a couple weeks ago for 17 plus shipping. Got another tailor-made. This one's a little better than the last one. They've got the RBZ on the side, which is a model of their uh, clubs. Again, probably 15 bucks for this one. This is one of the hats that I saw originally. It was sitting on the top. I do like this hat because I'm a Boston Red Sox fan. It says Fenway, 100 years. Got the strap back with the, the Boston logo and the Fenway Park on the side. I'll probably be on the fence on this one on whether I do try and sell it. Here's a, a cool vintage hat from like the 90s. These uh, like collegiate hats from the game. This one is Bowling Green State University. So not a great school as far as athletics go. Not gonna have a huge base of people looking for this team. I think it's still one because this is a vintage look that's worth selling. I would guess 15 to 20 bucks. So we'll put this in the keep pile. place that I'd love to go to someday. I've been there when I was a kid. Love to go back. Great Smoky Mountains. Any takers out there, this can be yours. 10 bucks and shipping. It's kind of a fun game to play. Definitely going to be throwing this one in the throw pile. It's dirty and it's Texas. Here in Arkansas, we are not Texas fans. I don't know what you call these hats. Do you guys out there know what you call these types of hats? It's got a certain look. It's got the pocket on the side. It says Kurtz on the bill. I don't know if Kurtz means anything, if that's a, a brand worth looking up. It doesn't look like it's worth a lot of money, kind of that military style hat. I'll throw it in the so-so pile and then look it up later. 
All right, I love camo. This camo hat is Trump 2020, so whether you like him or don't like him, this is still a hat that probably has some value to sell. Got the American flag on the side. And then right behind it is another one, very similar, different camo pattern, but very similar hat. So we'll throw them in the uh, in the sell pile, 10, 15 bucks for those. Here's a really cool vintage hat. It's very faded, but it's this like tropical floral pattern. You can tell it's it's been in the sun for quite some time. Hard to say what that bottom word is, but it says Captain Morgan, and then there's a word underneath it. Kind of looks like coconut, but I'm not sure actually. So great floral hat. I don't know if this will be worth anything. I may um, throw it in the so so pile and take a look at it later. Here's a Lucky Brand Los Angeles hat. Lucky 1990 and then underneath Lucky Brand. I don't know if this has any value, but again, we'll throw it in the pile to look up later. All right, we got like a cool uh, distressed like camo hat here that says Bone Collector on the front. If anyone's interested in this, let me know. It's a fitted hat and it is a size small medium. Here's a really old hat that's kind of got a funny uh, graphic on the front. It says, to improve your memory, lend someone money. I may put this in the uh, sell hat, the sell pile for sure, just because it's a, it's a very vintage hat. It's made in the USA, which always helps. Anybody want this out there? All right. Not a hat, but brand new uh, Radiant Vanity Fair undershapers right here. So sometimes you get more than you bargain for. Here's a really cool hat. This is like a runner hat, a women's. Uh, Adidas is the brand. It's got the Climacool on the back. Really good condition. Large XL. It is a fitted, but it's got some stretch to it. This is uh, great for those who are into running or just some kind of fitness. So I'll, I'll definitely try and sell this. Should get 15. So let's do a recap real quick. So far in looking around, I've got about 20 to 25 hats in the throwaway pile. I've got about 10 hats in the keep pile. And I've got about five to six hats in the do some research and find out if they're worth selling pile. So, so far, not bad. We haven't hit that home run hat yet. This has already paid off just in the hats that we're going to keep and sell. Razorback hat here from Nike. It's fitted. I'll probably try and sell this just because we've obviously got some Razorback fans here. It's a men's medium or large. Sometimes you're not looking for brands. You're just looking for uh, styles or just really cool looking things like this. This could be an item that goes on Depop. It's a hat that says show me birds hunting resort there may be someone out there looking for like a hunting hat or just something to look cool with some streetwear piece i'll definitely take a look at this one as well this is interesting this is a gap hat i there's no gap logo on it just the gap tag on the bottom it says 56 on the front i don't know if this has any value i don't know where this this flag is from if you can see it there but uh we'll put it in the uh research pile there are a lot of hats in here Look at this, a brand new hat, corduroy. It's got like the uh, the cardboard on the inside for new hats. Kind of a different looking hat. I don't know what you call this, but it's um, got that shorter bill and it's got the corduroy on the back. Arkansas A on the side, got the hog on the front and then got the hogs on the back. So I'll definitely sell this hat, especially a brand new hat, 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping. All right, got some more camo, like seeing the camo. So I'm in Arkansas, if I haven't said that already. This is a great hat for two reasons, obviously the hog in the front, but the camo. We've got a lot of hunters in this region that are also Razorback fans, so I shouldn't have a problem selling this hat. Probably get around 12 to 15 bucks plus shipping. Boom. This is probably the score of the bag so far. This is a good one. It's a golf hat. And the brand you want to look out for is Titleist. It's got that like trucker hat, but look at this, Pro V1. That's a good thing on the side. It's got FootJoy right there. I just sold a hat similar to this that had Titleist and FootJoy. It also had this big Titleist on the back. Last week it sold for 22 bucks plus shipping. So there you go. So far this is the hat to beat. All right, here's a pretty sweet hat to follow up that last one. This is a Chicago Blackhawks hockey hat from Adidas. It's got this like trucker style, not a lot of signs of wear on it. On the underside, it does have the sweat stains, so I'll clean that up. Something like this is different. It's different than their colors. Red is their primary color. So to see like a green plaid hat, probably not gonna find many, if any, hats like this out there. Great find right here. Still got quite a bit to go. I'm not sure on this one, Wounded Warrior Project. I've seen this brand before on clothing, never found a hat. Honor and Empower on the back, and it's got Under Armour on the side. So we'll take a look at that one. All right, first look, I didn't think this hat would be anything, but it's actually a good one. Vineyard Vines, it's like a really lightweight, like athletic hat. Vineyard Vines there on the back, and that will be a good one to sell, 15 bucks. 
Check this out, this is interesting. My dad actually used to own a Radio Shack. This is a very vintage Radio Shack hat. Show you the tag in there, Proline Large XL. It has a snapback, so obviously it could be adjusted, but really cool, like vintage hat. Here's another brand new hat. It's got the cardboard on the inside, camo trucker hat. It says Coors Light, and then it says Born in the Rockies. It's a cool hat here, definitely gonna sell that one for sure. And another new hat, I don't know if I'll sell this one just because I don't really know what this is, but Lucky Rooster Whiskey. We'll take a look at that one as well. I'm kind of impressed. I didn't expect to find this many hats that would be worth selling. Wow, guys, check this out. Dead stock. Got the brand new tag on the side. It says K2. And this is Northwestern Wildcats. Not a bad school here, but this is a new dead stock vintage hat made in the USA. I would think for a piece like this dead stock, 20 to 25 bucks plus shipping, that's a good find. All right, I'd say we're down to about the last third of the bag. Here's a hat that has promise. St. Louis Cardinals brand is New Era Diamond Collection. It's a fitted hat. This is a seven and one eighth, but it's a wool hat. I'll definitely need to clean it up. It's kind of dusty and got hair on it, but this one will clean up nicely. Wow, guys, this is a sweet vintage hat. I think you're gonna like this one. I'd say 80s or 90s, but check out the front on this. Wilson US Open. I feel like this hat could have some potential to it. I'd guess probably close to $30 on this one. With hats, I've noticed that if you have more of the common hats, they don't sell very well. It takes some time. But if you get those like old vintage hats that are very rare, they can go pretty quickly. So here's a pretty sweet hat. Got like a blue Hawaiian floral pattern to it. And it says Texas South Padre Island. And the brand is Nissan. So I've sold a couple of hats from Nissan before that have this tropical look. Here's another great hat, Steamboat Springs. This is a vintage hat. Imperial headwear there, there's the tag. I've, I've sold actually a couple of hats with that tag on it, so great find. All right, got another Nissan hat. I didn't show you the tag on this the last time, but that's what it looks like. A lot of times you'll find like different uh, businesses branded on the front. This one says Tony C's Beach Patio. This one will definitely sell for some good money, 20 to $25 plus shipping on this guy. All right, got another Vineyard Vines, women's hat, pink. Got the Vineyard Vines on the back. Got the whale on the front. That's a keeper. All right, feels like we've got about 10 hats left. Let's see if we've got any good ones. And so that is it, that's all the hats. So I'm gonna show you a real quick recap. So here are all the hats I'm throwing away. Probably about, I'd have to guess, like 50 to 60 hats down there. And then here are all the hats that I'm gonna look up a little later to see if it's worth selling. Got some decent ones. I don't know if those will be really worth it at all when it comes down to it. And here's another hat I just grabbed out of the uh, throwaway pile. I may take a second look at this. I didn't show you in the video. This vintage hat says Palm Beach. It could be a look that someone's going for. It's definitely worth giving it a shot, taking a look at it before I just decide that it needs to be thrown away. So here are all the keepers. These are all the ones that I'm gonna sell. And like I said, if you see one down here that you are interested in, let me know. Be a lot easier to sell it to a viewer than to list all of these. Got some great hats in here. Here's some of my favorites. The Steamboat right there. I love this dead stock Northwestern Wildcats. The Tony C's, obviously a, a great 90s look. This vintage Wilson, I think, is probably one of the better hats out of this pile. Of course, I mentioned that Titleist hat back there. And then a few others. I love this Adidas uh, Blackhawks hat and then that other Nissan texas themed hat all right now for the recap on how many hats did i end up picking out that i think are worth it remember that at the beginning of this video i said i was hoping to get at least five to six hats that i can flip for 15 to 20 bucks to make this pickup this mystery bag worth it you probably can tell by now that i'm feeling pretty good about this bag 15 dollars spent and i've got 24 hats that i'm for sure going to sell and i've got another 11 hats that i'm going to look up to see if it's worth it that means that out of this bag there could be 30 to 35 hats that i end up selling for anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping i would say that's very worth the time I spent in going up to that store, getting the bag, paying the 15 bucks and coming back home. But let me know what you all think. Hopefully you like this video and I can do more like this. For me at least, when they call again in a few weeks to let me know they have another bag ready for me, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Peace. Peace.